I would like to extend my warmest welcomes to Samdak Akat Maha Panjia Chakrai Heng Samrin, Your Majesty the Sultan, the leaders of ASEAN, and representative of IPA member parliament who are presented in this meeting. This physical gathering between the two bodies of ASEAN members is indeed important for sharing the development, progress, challenges, and working together to identify solutions so as to further build a community with resiliency. As the chair of ASEAN in 2022, with the theme, ASEAN Act, Addressing Challenges Together, Cambodia has set priority on ensuring ASEAN effectiveness in accelerating recovery and promoting economic growth in a sustainable, inclusive, and resilient manner. At present, ASEAN has been promoting the implementation of measures under the five strategies of the ASEAN Comprehensive Recovery Framework. In parallel, to restore and promote the building of ASEAN community, Cambodia has set four strategic trusts under ASEAN Economic Community Pillar including one, enhancing digital connectivity, science and technology. Two, narrowing development gap for ASEAN competitiveness. Three, promoting a more integrated, inclusive, resilient and competitive ASEAN. And fourth, Global ASEAN for Growth and Development. In addition, to accelerate the reduction of development gap between ASEAN members, ASEAN also has been promoting ASEAN digital transformation, which is a source of growth and a new business model to enhance economic growth and resiliency of a regional supply chain, as well as to encourage micro, small, and medium enterprises. To adopt the use of digital technologies by setting common governance and development digital infrastructures. We have also provided plenty of support through introducing initiatives and action plan aimed at fostering the development of entrepreneurship for women and youth. In addition, we have officially announced the launch of negotiation for the ASEAN Framework Agreement on Competition. Negotiations to upgrade the ASEAN Trade in Goods Agreement and promoting the implementation of free trade agreement, including the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, ASEP, to boost regional trade flow, enhance resiliency to regional supply chain, and foster social economic development. With a proactive spirit, ASEAN is developing ASEAN communities post-2025 vision that strategically focused on major issues, including the development of digital economy and reduction of the digital gap in the region, the enhancements of green economic development, the protection of migrant workers, especially in getting well prepared to move forward and respond to new trends and global crises in the future. I'm looking forward to actively and regularly exchange
exchanging of views between the representative of PIPA and ASEAN leaders. As next, I would like to invite the media and during this opportunity program, I would like to invite some like a cat Maha Punyir Chakray Heng Samran, President of the National Assemblies of Cambodia, to deliver the statement as a President of 43rd IPA General Assembly. Please, some like.